Hello guys, welcome back to AI Sciences. I am Sajjad. Today we are going to learn categorical feature encoding. Uh, so far I think we know what is feature and today we are going to learn basically two things. What is encoding and what is categorical. So what are categorical features basically and what is encoding and how to implement encoding in Python. But before that we want to learn that what is feature encoding and why it's important. And then we'll see what are the types of uh, encoding. And then we'll finally, you know, exactly do some hands-on practice uh, in, in Python, in Jupyter Notebook. So if, if you're new, new to our channel, we are AI Sciences. We make tutorial for uh, those who are exactly the beginners in data science and artificial intelligence industry. If you're looking for complete comprehensive courses, you can visit our channel. We have complete courses that focuses exactly the beginners like you and you can have some you know very good um, artificial intelligence based courses that starts from data pre-processing and then machine learning then deep learning reinforcement learning CNN RNN and stuff like that so so let's start with categorical feature encoding so what are the categorical features so in a data set sometimes you come across some columns like this one let's say there is a column that has value of population, right? So let me call it P. So let's say it has value 2, 3, 9, 20, 90, 1, 15, right? And we can easily impute the, these values to computer and computer can easily understand these values. Computer understand numeric values as we know that computer converts these numeric values to binary values, right, um, 0, 1, and then computer can easily understand it. But for machine learning purpose, we cannot feed these categorical values, these values that are, let's say, not integer or not float, that are non-numeric value, in other words, that are text values that are in textual form, that are in category format, right? Categorical uh, comes from category. So that are in category format or that, that are in text format, these are called um, categorical features. So any feature that is in text format that is a categorical feature and in order to use this categorical feature uh, one way to deal with categorical feature is you can just you know uh, drop it. Uh, but dropping it can uh, can cause you losing some important important information. So how can we do something? Um, so, so what is uh, encoding? So in encoding so our problem was computer cannot understand this textual format, right? This English or whatever language format. Computer only understands this um, digital or uh, numeric format. So encoding helps us doing uh, achieving our goal in which we, um, we do some encoding. Now what is encoding? Let's not discuss it for now. We'll discuss it in upcoming slide. So we perform some encoding on, on these categorical features, these textual features, and these textual features results in convert, uh, you know, results in convergence of uh, convergence to uh, digital or numeric format, right? Like this. So let's say we assign a code one to Paris, like right? we encode Paris as one. So wherever Paris comes, let's say here, Paris again comes, right? So corresponding to Paris, there will be value one because one is the code of Paris. And wherever it, there is DC, wherever, wherever there is London, the code will be two, three, respectively. So that's how encoding happens. Now, what is encoding? We'll we'll deeply learn that. So basically, there are there are two types of encoding. So basically, encoding is is the is the way of converting categorical features to to numerical features. Now we have two types of encodings. One is label encoding, and the other one is one-hot encoding. Um, there are some other uh, encoding methods in machine learning available, but these two are the most famous and most you know frequently used uh, encoding mechanisms. So, what is label encoding? Uh, we learned that, 
and these are some of the uses that when you should use lab label encoding and when you should not use label encoding and same goes for one hot encoding we will uh, try to study these things after uh, the hands-on practice so first of all let's try to learn what is label encoding right so in label encoding just as we have discussed we convert our categorical features exactly like this into we assign some code to every categorical feature so let's say we have these seven categorical features we will assign seven different codes right seven different we encode them in, in seven different ways so that whenever Paris comes again we will assign the same code it, code to it. Now let's let's um, do some hands-on practice and it is not very difficult to implement in Python there are several ways um, how can you how you can you know easily implement it. So initially we are just importing pandas dataset and we'll mo will mostly be playing with pandas not with the, with the other libraries because it is more handy to you know read and manipulate the data so here we are reading uh, data uh, uh, sorry pd dot read csv so here is the address from which we are reading the file so it is some some study this data contains some study about kidney disease and these are some id age blood pressure sugar level and, and stuff like that even i don't know what are these these um, th these attributes so these are the features these are the features and then uh, I have, I have um, I'm showing just five rows over here so here it has to total 26 columns here if we see what are the data types of the columns you can see that some of them are integers some of them are floats some of them are objects and mainly the 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 strings so so these are the data types now label encoding first of all you get all those columns that are categorical columns how you get it if you look at if you look at here you can see that every column that is not integer and float that is categorical right so so let's say this rbc red blood cell or red blood count this is object right this is pc is also object p double c is also object and so on so here we are saying that data frame dot columns return all those columns where data type is object and then convert them to list because it returns an array so we are converting in, uh, uh, we are converting it into the list. So we are storing categorical columns in categorical calls variable and let's run it. Here you can see that these are the columns that contains objects and these are the columns that are actually we are supposed to convert and we are supposed to encode them uh, by using label encoding or later on by using one hot encoding. So here um, here just one liner uh, by the way you can use um, implementation of label encoder from sklearn as well um, but I find this implementation of pandas more handy to implement that's why I usually use this implementation but you can use label encoder from from sklearn uh, library as well okay so for now we are we are going to um, we are going to encode rbc column which is Let's see, which is this one, this column that has some non, uh, non available numbers as well, some normal and other values as well. So we are going to encode this column. So uh, just focusing on on this code, I'm, I'm going to tell you what is going to happen. So here we are saying that data frame and we are specifying a column RBC red blood count dot as type category. So first of all, um, if we want to convert are uh, we want to encode our variables by using pandas we have to change their data type uh, to category so we, we, ha we have to tell it uh, so it is a cat categorical variable right so here we are saying that um, convert or type cast it to cat category or categorical variable and then apply some categorical codes on it just that's enough that's enough and we are going to store it in a new column we are not going to change the existing column we are going to create a new column rbc underscore cat which means category or categorical columns and then we are going to print its head which means five rows okay so here is our new rbc here we go so you can see that rbc underscore cat now you may wonder why it is assigning minus one value because here you can see that two values are NAN. So it's quite intelligent enough. It's intelligent enough to assign 
negative values to those I mean now you can easily remove these negative rows from it or or we have some videos on how to remove missing data or how to fill in the missing data and stuff like that you can easily play with it right it makes things easier for you that's how you can convert uh, any column into category in, into categorical any convert any categorical features um, into these um, numeric features right that can be later used in machine learning techniques so so you can again I repeat you can use label encoder from sklearn as well that has exactly the same implementation and same application now you can use you, you can for for let's say homework or quiz or exercise you can convert these other columns pc and pcc as well by using label encoder so that's all about label encoder guys now let's talk about one hot encoding this is a little bit different from label encoding but it's it, it's working is almost the same so in label in one hot encoding we can we convert all the all the features all the different features into columns so let's say Paris Paris has this column let's say DC DC has this column and so on let's say London London has some column over here then New York New York New York will be having some column over here and so on and then last but not the least Lahore Lahore is also having its own column now wherever Paris is present we will impute 1 wherever Paris is not present we will impute 0 and so on right second us in second column wherever DC is present we will impute 1 right because it is the column of DC right now you may be wondering about the name of these columns we will talk about that later so this is the column of DC DC has only one value over here because DC so let's say let's um, let's say here is also DC right so DC will be having and so the new thing will become like this so DC will be having one value over here and the other columns will be having zero value in place of DC and same goes for Lahore Lahore has one value over here only and that's why the other values respective values are zero okay so now uh, you may be uh, you may be thinking that where to use one hot encoding and where, you, where to use label encoding we will discuss that and what's the difference between them you have seen that in label encoding you create only one column and the numbers uh, the maximum number in the in the in the new feature column is the total unique elements in your actually categorical column in one hot encoding you actually make those number of columns the, that is the number of your your unique features in your categorical column so let's first implement one hot encoding in 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 Jupyter or in Python and then we'll see the where to use what to use right so we have learned this label encoding and by the way um, here one more thing I want to show you is here in RBC category column in this column we have these unique values so we have 201 ones 152 minus ones and 47 zeros it starts encoding from zero in our example we are in we started encoding from one but it starts encoding from zero um, that's not a big deal now here I'm just checking that how many null values it have it has 152 null values and it the minus number of minus ones are also 152 so that that just cross verifies the fact that it assigns minus one to nn values right so back to the one hot encoding and you might be surprised that it is just a one liner and it will produce all these columns for you right it is just a one liner again um, one hot encoder is also available in sklearn but pandas also gives its um, implementation and I find it very handy so pandas has a function that is called dummies get dummies so pd dot get dummies here we will pass our data frame df right and then we will specify the columns what columns are we going to uh, we are going to encode by using one hot encoding right and then this prefix for now let's forget it and we will try to learn what it is and then we are just going to print its head let me make it more clear so let, let me store it in one hot encoder encoded and here I'll say one hot encoder dot hat right let me run it and here you can see we encoded PC and PCC right and these are the columns somewhere over here at the end here you can see that so PC has two values abnormal and normal right 
so wherever there is normal there is zero and wherever there is abnormal that that contains one just like this you can see that and wherever there is abnormal in normal column it contains zero and same goes for PCC PCC has two values not present and present and you can see the hierarchy of the numbers wherever there is one in not present there is zero in present and vice versa now let's talk about this prefix you might be wondering that how it it you know um, it automatically gets the the feature name just like this the feature the feature name was city so it it has automatically imputed city over here and you might be able to get that where this pc com comes from the pc is coming from this prefix so the prefix of first column is P PC again and PC for the second column is PC so you can even change it let me change it to first just for the sake of understanding um, S -E -C second right let me run it and now you'll be able to see that so it says first underscore abnormal first underscore normal so this get dummies uh, does all the job for you and coding this from scratch in Python is not a difficult task we can easily do that but we don't have to do that because it is al already implemented as, uh, implemented for us um, this underscore uh, get dummies automatically imputes for us if we want to ignore that you can change the parameters somewhere over here but this underscore looks nice over here um, so that that's about that's all about one hot, hot encoding we have also we had also implemented implemented label encoding as well now What's the, what's the difference and where should we use label encoding and where, where should we use one hot encoding so in label encoding we know that the number of uh, number of columns doesn't increase a lot it increased just by one but not by one actually it replaces the actual column in our coding here label encoding we actually created a new column but actually we should replace the old column like this it just happens now this RBC is replaced so there is no new column entering in if we use label encoding so use this label encoding when number of categorical features is unique is quite is quite large so when number of unique I should have used word unique so if number of unique categorical features is quite large then we should use label encoding and if number of uh, number of unique categorical feature is not very large then we should use one hot encoding you might be asking why because if number of unique categorical features are quite a lot let's say number of unique categorical features are 100 or 500 then you will be if you're using one hot encoding you will be making 100 or one or 500 columns that will be quite you know inefficient for for your computation power so if number of categorical feature are not large you can use one hot encoding if number of categorical features are uh, unique categorical features in one column are very large you should use label encoding another difference is you should use label encoding when categorical feature is ordinal and you should you should use categorical you, you should use one hot encoding when categorical feature is not ordinal now what is ordinal and what is not ordinal so anything that the, the if we change their order that doesn't make any difference that is not ordinal for example uh, so I have to count students in the class so I can start counting from anyone and I can re rearrange them by any way that doesn't you know that doesn't matter but if I want to um, I want to list the classes in the school I, I have to list them in, in, in some order like let's say first of all uh, first class comes and then second then third and so on right so if features are ordinal you should use label encoding because it will ultimately assign one to first two to second three to third and three will be having more you know three is greater than two so three is, will be having more um, impact on your machine learning model actually machine learning model then if we use one zero or zero one right I hope you get the point so that's all about um, the feature encoding I hope you understand the point and do support our, our channel you can you can visit the website if you want to have you want to get um, complete courses on machine learning um, we have we have uh, this is our website and you can visit it you can also check the links in description Thank <laughs> you.